Welcome to Healthy with Heartland, you're cooking with Chef Arden. Now, continuing with the theme of seafood, uh, very similar to how we broke down the chicken and I showed you how to do that. Today, we are going to be breaking down a whole fish. What I have for you here today is a fresh caught red snapper. Now, there's a couple things to keep in mind if you're ever gonna be working with whole fish. How do you know how fresh it is? The smell, obviously, that's going to be kind of the first giveaway. If it's very pungent, like overly fishy, then that's typically a really bad sign. The next thing you wanna look for is the eye of the fish here. The eye of the fish is clear. It doesn't look like it has cataract. Shouldn't be milky at all. The second way to check that, if you open up the gill, you can kind of look in there and look at the gill itself. It should be a vibrant red. It shouldn't be pale, it shouldn't be a dark purple. But this is the most accurate test aside from the smell. Let's get started cutting it down. So, always double check whatever you get your whole fish. Uh, you can get them gutted, you can get them descaled. I suggest having people at the fish market do that for you. To check for the scales, simply take your hands and rub against it. You'll feel if there's anything that's like really popping up. Another way to do that as well, take your knife on the blade and just drag it against. If it has a scale, it'll pop off like this one right here. Once we're good to go with that, the first incision you wanna make is definitely find the head, okay? The head of the fish is right here. Take about the width of your thumb, take it at the back of the gill, and that's typically, you can feel for a bone there as well. So with a very sharp knife, if you don't have a fillet knife, you can use a very sharp chef knife. This is an eight inch. You wanna make your first cut going across. Use the tip of your knife a lot of the time. You're gonna feel the spine of the fish. This is very important. The knife is gonna be doing a lot of the work for you. Fish have a lot of pin bones itself. So after you've finished making that first incision, you wanna take just the tip of your knife and you wanna run it just along. Use the spine of the fish as your guy. So you've now created your first cut. Now the important thing is to get as much of the meat off as you possibly can. So you wanna quickly just make another incision here at the back of the tail. Now you wanna start right here with the tip of your knife on a diagonal and you wanna drag the knife against the spine of the fish. That way you're utilizing every bit of the fish. You wanna just keep running it down with your fingers, guiding it. Don't move too quickly. You don't wanna tear it up, which is why you need a very sharp knife. Once you get to the end, you can just cut it right off again. You have a beautiful filet of red snapper. Now, after you have taken your fish fillets off of the actual fish itself, the next step you need to trim up and clean your fillets. Once you have your fillets off, you can hold that up and you can transparently see through the fish itself. If I were you, you would take this fish, put it in a pot with some scrap vegetables, uh, anything you might have laying around with some water, and just quickly boil it off, make a nice little fish stock, use it for soups, use it for sauces, anything that you really need. But that way you're fully utilizing the, the red snapper itself. Moving on from there, we've now taken the fillets off of our fish. Two things to always keep in mind. Fish have many little tiny bones in the fillet. Those are called pin bones. In order to find the pin bones, just take a finger, a thumb, and just run, a, run it across the seam. It's gonna feel like you're being stabbed a little bit. You can use a pair of scissors. I suggest using a little pair of pliers. Uh, make sure they're clean. These are designed for the kitchen. You just wanna grab and just pull them out. They're very unpleasant to find on your plate. So now that we've removed the pin bones, we've just trimmed it up a little bit. To sear this, very similar to the salmon. Now, the protein wise, uh, it will have a flaky consistency. It's not as meaty, nor is it as fatty. So you're gonna need a very hot pan at first to sear that skin to get it crispy. And then afterwards, when we flip it, you're gonna wanna reduce your pan by half. Now, a little bit of seasoning on the skin will go a very long way here. So salt and pepper on the skin first, and then we can get to searing. So let's get to doing that. So once again, pan is hot, oil is smoking, it's always the good indication. Skin on, skin down first, okay? Once again, lay it away from you. You wanna immediately hear that nice sear. Give it three fingers, push it down, because it will curl up immediately. Okay. 
So once we flip, reduce the heat by two thirds. Uh, we don't want to, we don't want to burn it because the way this meat is not going to take that long to finish cooking. Mm -hmm.